Hello, my name is Mette Vass. I'm a PhD student at Aalborg University in Copenhagen. The paper I present today is done in collaboration with my supervisor, Ellen Katrin Hansen. The title of the paper is Architectural and Social Potential of Urban Lighting, a field study of how brightness can affect the experience of waiting for public transportation. The project is done in collaboration with the industrial partners Schrader and Holscher Design. We are working in the area of urban lighting around everyday activities. The subject for the case studies are waiting areas for public transportation. Trams are being built in three major cities of Denmark. The cities Aarhus, Odense and Copenhagen. Aarhus is the first of these three cities where the trams are in use. And we are investigating the potential of light and how we, by lowering and balancing brightness levels, can exploit the architectural potential of lighting, being able to see space, materials, forms, and the visual connection to the surroundings, the social potential of lighting, creating a light zone with an atmosphere that enhances the visual perception of people and support co-presence. And then of course, the sustainable potential of lighting, saving energy on lighting and invite people to use public transportation and create, and thereby creating a coherent urban space. Supporting the sustainable development goal 11, sustainable cities and communities, making inclusive cities for everybody. The aim of the field study is to investigate how lighting can influence travelers' perception of the surrounding space and fellow travelers while waiting at a station. With a focus on brightness, the aim is to define parameters for brightness that can be used to inform further research. The project consists of five steps. A literature study within scenography, a field pre-analysis, which I'm presenting today, lab experiments, a future field test, summed up in design principles. The literature study within scenography was examining the role of light on the stage compared with the role of light in the urban space. The scenographic lens is based on the work of Adolphe Appia. He divided the components of the theatre play into the stage, the actor presenting the drama, and light giving life to each. In the fuel pre-analysis, observations and interviews are based on this scenographic approach and on the descriptive ethnographic methods developed by James Bradley. Observation were done by taking pictures and notes along routes that was repeated both in sunrise and sunset and in darkness. Interviews were done at the station where 20 travelers were interviewed in semi-structured interviews while they were waiting for the train. Data was analyzed through a traditional coding methods and summed up in three brightness parameters. Three brightness parameters were found interesting to investigate further and that is the brightness hierarchy in the surroundings and it was the brightness ratio, the brightness ratio between a lit space and the surroundings and then the brightness level in a space. The urban scenes change character from day to night. When the brightness hierarchy is out of balance, important urban details can disappear because of too high or too low brightness level in a certain area. High brightness contrast between the waiting area and the immediate surroundings makes the urban context invisible. The light needs to adapt to the surroundings. High brightness level 
and sole use of diffuse light on people waiting makes faces appear too brightly illuminated. Details disappear or reside into complete shadow when people are looking down. Pre-analysis led to the design of a lab experiment. A lab was divided into two light zones, a waiting area and the surrounding context. Test participants saw different lighting scenarios with different lighting radios and answered a question about their experience of the atmosphere in the space, the co-presence of other people and the surrounding context. The results are being processed right now and will be explained in a future paper. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to the PLEA committee and thank you to the industrial partners, Schrader and Holzendesign.